You know, he says to us in a famous quotation that we need not look further than the surface to find him. But by the virtue of him saying that, he's telling us we need to look deeper. Warhol really revolutionized the shift from the vernacular, everyday, popular culture to high art. Taking objects that we experience every day and bringing them up to a different place. Warhol was, in a sense, a history painter, and he really chronicled the news of his own day. Warhol was telling us very early, as early as 1950, that we're surrounded by the media, that it's all around us, all the time. The 24 news hour cycle was really declared by Warhol before anyone else. He loved the tabloids, particularly the New York tabloids. Um, so the Daily News and the New York Post primarily, but also national tabloids like the National Enquirer. And he read them voraciously, could never get enough. He was a self-proclaimed news junkie. He was drawn to the tabloids and he created an art that similarly draws our attention. He uses strategies that uh, the editors of the tabloid headlines use. You can't ignore it. You can't look away from it. It pulls you right in as a viewer, as a reader. He understood the power of that visual draw, um, and he used it. Um, when I first started working on the exhibition, I thought it would be a lot smaller than it is, and I thought it would probably end in 1968 when Warhol was shot. What I didn't know from the outset was the depth and the richness of this body of work that ran through Warhol's whole career. There is so much work by Warhol that we haven't even looked at. He was so prolific. This is just one theme that hadn't been explored as yet. I think there are many more, and I think we're just starting to understand Warhol's artistic practice. <laughs>